Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Monday on Tiz is Freaky Tales. Um, but <laughs> that's all I had, man. I I, I figured uh, over episode sixty nine, it was a freaky number, so why not? Get freaky. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, I feel like while we're already getting freaky and talking about fucking, that's a perfect time <laughs> to slide right on into the oh, good. Oh yes. It's time. And fuck around. It's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> get it. Let's get it. It's, it's the oh, good and fuck around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some good fucking the good so, and fuckery. What'd you say? Some good fucking. From good fucking to good fuckery. Oh, <laughs> oh, I, I, okay. I like that transition. Yeah, yeah. Episode 69, good in fuckery. And also, on episode 69, I would like to say, happy steak and BJ day, everybody. Yeah, I don't know if y'all even have to freaking celebrate it. Hopefully, I'll celebrate this weekend, but it's steak and BJ day, y'all. <laughs> It's taking blowjob day. Yep. Okay. Conve- see how the universe just fits into, <laughs> into I the didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. This said, hopefully he can celebrate this week. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In the middle of Women's History Month. Hopefully I'll get to celebrate Steak and DJ. Yeah. At the okay. International Women's. Okay, let me ask you a quick question. Let me ask you a quick question since you said that. Do you feel that that is an empowering action for females? So when, it's, take control? when it's me, yeah. yeah <laughs> when it's anybody else, so. <laughs> think that's horrible. You shouldn't stoop to that level. Hey, oh, I think shit. you're like you would. I hear you, but I don't hear you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening. To go. Yeah, we had some fucking technical difficulties, but we back up in this bitch with the good and fuckery. We still gonna keep it pushing. Fuck one, 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 one fucked up sound system don't stop no show. We right back in your face. All right, so <laughs> let uh, let me get right back into the good fucking good and fuckery. Uh, Go ahead, do your thing, Pat. I did say happy steak and BJ Day. We did talk about that. All right, so and that's to, is is that today? I was trying to say that when my mic was uh, acting stupid. Yes, it is today. Oh gonna, fuck, that's crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. BJ Day. I'm gonna try this weekend. <laughs> when I have to. When the same here. Work. I can't have no steak, but I can have the second part. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got no dietary hey. restrictions against that. I don't even care. I don't even care about the steak. Is you know, it just sounds cool. <laughs> so, oh, that's nice. That's a nice thing on top. All right. Anyway, <laughs> speaking the steak about uh, get that protein for that workout. <laughs> uh, uh, <Protein>. <laughs> <laughs> See, his oh, yeah. laugh makes it sound creepy. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's actually not that bad, but then his laugh makes it sound like weird. Babe, babe, about to about to take over the world or something. Like he got mad. <laughs> like he about shit. to take over something. Like he about to cost me some shit. <laughs> about to tie some chick to a track with some curly mustache again. Oh, I told you I was <laughs> You'll never it's catch me. me. Again. <laughs> you fooled me last time. Baron's face. <laughs> but yeah. All right, so let me get right into it. I'm going to start this off by, um, you know, Man, just start it off because it's all fuckery. It's not really that too much good into it, man. And the, and the main fuckery I, I, I'm going to talk about first is yo, this I had to spend $50 to fill this tank up, man. 
And Biden oh, yeah. says he want us go to want us to go back to the office. Yeah, are you gonna pay for gas, my gas? Man. Fuck this gas. Are, are, are you gonna pay for my gas to go back to the office? I mean, oh, all everybody, yes. all the officers said that we are actually more efficient at home. Anyway, all right, <laughs> and this is another example of this old man not relating to current times. Yeah, and it, um, and instead of wanting us to go back to the office, he need to stay his ass in the office. And out of grown folks' business, my grown folks' business, because I'm not getting my ass back to the office. All right, what you you want me to you want me to have more anxiety attack? That was you know is that what you want? Right. You're not paying for gas because I spent fifty one motherfucking dollars on gas to fill the tank up. I don't even have a big truck. I have an SUV. It's an economy. It's good on gas. But not when gas prices is at. Uh, I was say, ain't shit good on gas right now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you put ten on price. that. You put ten on that bitch. That shit gonna say sixty-six miles. These gas prices at four thirty, four fifteen. These are not gas prices. These are the time of day. Yeah. No way. And you know what makes it even sadder? Day. When you grew up like us and you remember ninety something cents. Or, or oh my god! I, or, or a I I have a vivid picture of a gas station down the street from it with ninety nine cents up there. They they tore that bitch down. It's a Seven Eleven now, but oh, yeah. Down I, road, boy. I, I remember when fucking burgers. hamburgers were twenty nine cents. Shit. Twenty nine cents. Twenty nine cents hamburgers, nigga. You remember that shit? In 30 I do remember that. From, no, I no, remember no, that from no. McDonald's. I don't remember that from McDonald's. Like, yep. I, don't, I don't remember it, but I'm mad that it ain't there no more. Shit, I'm nah, I remember that shit. Right now. I remember I that shit. I remember that from the 80s. And they used to bring that shit back throughout the 90s. Like on Wednesday, 29 cent hamburger, 39 cent cheese. Yeah. Well, shit ain't happening no more. That's right, oh, before they invented, right before they invented the devil hamburger. You can cancel that shit. Mm-hmm. Especially with the gas prices up uh, high as it is, the transportation prices high. is going to be even higher or whatever. So. <laughs> No, big fact. Big fact. you know who else? You know who else is having problems with gas that you wouldn't expect? Russia. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> okay, if you want to put that out there, sure. Yeah, <laughs> their problems are problems now because it's fucking four thirty for gas. But um, on episode sixty nine, um, Takashi sixty nine have a problem with putting gas in his car. Whack 100 said he is broke and he had to give him $20 for gas. So that should tell you how much um, your antics will last after a while. That's sad. How the mighty have fallen. I don't know how mighty it was, but yeah. <laughs> well, good night, yeah. Takashi. Sticky with the blicky and the blicky and the blicky up. Well, it's bad, bad, Takashi. Mm-hmm. How uh, you can say bye bye to somebody who was never welcomed? I don't know. I mean, he was people was allowing him around, so I just you know. Yeah, you know I didn't. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. You can go. Cool. Take them gas prices with him. Ain't no lie. Bye bye bye. bye, 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 bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> well, since we're saying bye, since we're saying bye, uh, uh, no disrespect in the segue, but um, rest in peace to Pusha T and No Malice, um, father who passed this weekend. Also, I just saw that, you know, it, I'm right in the area, so they're probably going to give us the news first. And also, rest in peace to the legendary Scott Hall. WWE Hall of Fame, also known as Razor Ramon. He uh, passed at 63. He just not passed. I yeah. thought he was already dead. No, nah, they just pulled uh, not... the cord on a salute to him, man. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I just saw him in some wrestling event not too long ago or whatever, like with, with, uh, with Kevin Nash. Nash. And Hogan. Yeah, I don't know. That's tough. 
Yeah. Yeah. Was he able to get over that alcohol? I know he was bad on alcohol for a couple of years. Was he able to get over that? I'm not I, sure. I feel like at one point he was doing better with like yeah, was always helping him and shit. But cool. yeah, DDP, DDP is always like helping out the wrestlers. From what I'm saying, he he seemed like he. I think he did that with um, uh, Jake the Snake. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I think they had like a whole documentary of Jake the Snake trying to like. like uh, detox himself better. or whatever. I've seen that before. What now? Cool. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. James Snake, <clears throat> it was real tight with uh, DDP. He cleaned them well, both up. Cleaned them both up, man. Sad to see a legend go, man. Um, you know, definitely revolutionized the sport of professional wrestling or the entertain whatever you want to call professional wrestling. First ladder match, won't it? <laughs> Uh, not the first, Marcus? but like probably one of the most famous who ones. First, who was the first ladder? I thought him and Shawn Michaels was the first one. No, nah, I first saw uh, what you call it. Uh, um, documentary. And they was talking about it, like where the Shawn and him was talking about when they did it, and they was like they weren't the first. They were like one of the. They were probably like the first prominent one that was like on pay per view and televised and all that shit. Mm. If that makes sense, it, but they're the, the first, first ladder no, match in WWE, WWF. Yeah. yeah, June, Ju- well, July twenty first, nineteen ninety two, the WWF Intercontinental Title. Indeed, I just looked it up. I, I'm not that big of a wrestling nerd. A I just looked legend. it up on Google. <laughs> legend. Nineteen ninety fucking two. Mm-hmm. Keeping it on the sports side, uh, the NBA is, says they're going to bring the hammer down on the Nets for allowing unvaxxed Kyrie Irving in the locker room. And uh, a league fined the team $50,000 for violating New York City and NBA COVID-19 protocols on Sunday. Man, let that man play basketball, uh, man. All I got to say is... Uh, you got a whole league the only un- people that ain't be coming to New York playing and they not... Vaccinated because they from another state, man. Let that man play basketball. Man. Yeah, them them people in that um, not all them people in that stadium was on the uh, vax. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kyrie is not the only one up there. I think um, I saw LeBron and somebody else say that uh, now it's just it's just the NBA trying to like show off their power or something. It's somebody that's just trying to show off their power or something. So. Man, it's definitely uh, some bullshit. Yeah. I, say that. I feel like a lot of egos need to get checked for common decency. Pretty yes, much. Sir. Yeah. yes, sir. And speaking of more egos getting needing to be checked, yay. <laughs> Mr. Kanye yay West, or yay, or the artist formerly known as Kanye West, or Kanye Kardashian, as I used to call him myself. <laughs> Mr. West, reason, wake up, Mr. West. For some reason, when he woke up Sunday morning, he chose violence. <laughs> he chose violence. Man, he started P. like Davidson alone. Not even it was Pete Davidson, and then and, and uh, I think he was going crazy on a post about. Uh, uh, his kids TikTok and stuff like that. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not really for like kids too much on social media too much just cause you know how social media is pretty much. But I feel like I, don't know, I just feel like how old is his eight, daughter now? Eight. Eight. Oh yeah, leave that baby on TikTok. She don't need to be on. She on this, I'm gonna see emo, emo chick and she fell in love with some other shit. Like when it comes to the yeah. kid, I, I agree with Kanye, man. Let that man try to be a father to his kids, trying to keep him out of his kids' life. That's some old other shit. And the way the media is trying to publicize that shit, that's fucked up. You feel me? Like, I can understand y'all trying to do, um, do the Kim and Kanye shit and do they mar- they marriage shit, but when it comes to them kids, that shit should not be publicized and nothing like that. Y'all mm-hmm. going too fucking far. Because that shit could have repercussions to that kid. Y'all never fucking know. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't, yeah. Never be a part of adult business. 
Hell no. Yeah. Like the adult signed up for that shit by being famous and being a certain bracket of uh, uh, of being a, a celebrity. It comes with certain shit. At no point, just because I'm that that person's your child, should they have to deal with any any fucking thing from the media? But the media tries to bring children into it, and again, <clears throat> my feelings is in Kanye's situation. They're gonna do that, and he's gonna react, and that's only gonna be used against him more. You feel me? They they constantly trying to bait him to react on certain shit, and between the media and I don't personally know what's going on in his marriage, and me personally, I was always taught. When it comes to somebody's personal business, I don't speak on it unless that person tell me I got a right to speak on it. So I ain't gonna speak on whatever he's doing with his marriage because I don't know every detail. So they ain't here there. But when it comes to the kids and being in the media, they did wrong for that shit. And I feel he rightful to react like fuck that. I, I need to be able to tell my daughter or whatever, educate her on whatever he need to educate her on, so she won't be doing certain things on social media because if kids <clears throat> don't have guidance or don't have somebody that watchful eye. Everything is on the fucking internet, so you never know what what influence or, or what they could be seeing and trying to imitate on that shit. So I mean, like, fuck that. Yeah, I ain't with the uh, my 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 child is about to be seven, and uh, like the internet is very restricted. Like, it ain't no whole lot. Of, like, we can look up certain shit together. We can, you know, he got access to certain shit, but like, from social media sites is is. Who the hell are you being social with at, at that age? Who are you talking to? You ain't old enough to have no no clique or no no big group of friends to hang out with. Like maybe middle high school, we can start talking about it, having that conversation around it. You know what I mean? And, and like kind of safely introduce you into it slowly. But like you in elementary school, man. Go play on the swing somewhere. Like. Uh. We, ain't, we don't need to make these babies grow up too fast. Like, I ain't with all the uh, public shit Kanye be doing as far as, like, beefing with uh, Pete Davidson and all that. Like, that shit right yeah. there is corny to me. <clears throat> but the shit about his kids, like, leave the kids out of it and, and don't have the kid all on no damn social media. Like, that's just, to me, and that's my opinion. I know parents, you know, do whatever they want to do and, you know, to each his own, but to me, yeah, but like, I, I don't understand the purpose of it unless you're trying to turn that child into a commodity, and unless that child has purposely said and has shown interest on their own in something, mm. and let that child chill out, let it be a kid. I feel me like fuck that shit, like yeah, limits and restrictions and boundaries. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't play devil's advocate on this because this this is what I feel. I. I, I agree with y'all. I feel like things with children should not be in the public eye, period, period, or whatever. And and like you said, one, I don't have kids, so I don't feel like I should be the one to tell somebody or it say, hey, the, how their parenting is wrong or whatever, or what they're doing is wrong. But it's a kind of, it's kind of an unwritten rule in the internet's in social media, when you post something in a in a social media platform that has comments where people are able to put comments in, you you kind of saying, "Hey, I give y'all all the right to say whatever the hell y'all want about my business." Right in the nail. No, I do agree with that. That's why I don't think that none of this shit should be posted in the first place. Yeah. But as far as the parenting part, she shouldn't have that baby on TikTok. Yeah, no, she definitely shouldn't have no, her that baby on TikTok. I definitely disagree with that on Kim. It's a lot of things I disagree with when it comes to Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Yeah, that whole trip. that whole marriage is a big cluster. <laughs> I say this once again, and I always say in every conversation it comes about Kanye. To me, his career and just his outward personality shifted once his mother passed. I mean, like, mm. if you really look at Kanye and his behavior in the media and everything, it really got worse. And the media started mm. to pick him a certain way once his mother passed. I mean, like, once they start creating that narrative, there's no way he could get out of that because every action he is, does is seen as crazy. They tried to pick him as crazy. But he ain't really crazy because we know real, real crazy people. He's just an eccentric person who got his own set of ideals. But 
other people who got their own set of ideas ain't depicted in the same light as him. You feel me? Because either they're not as boisterous as him, they don't have to, they not in the same tax bracket as him or something. But at the end of the day, let this man be. You feel me? As long as he ain't personally harming nobody, stop trying to make pick this man looking like he's crazy. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to his real life in the judicial system, they can use that shit to depict him as just that. You feel me? And do anything they want to. They want to take his kids from him. Well, look at all this evidence we right have, have right here in the media of you acting irrational and, and hostile and volatile. If I'm like, nah, yeah, you know but me. but what to how much of a responsibility does, that, does he have as a man too to like at some point either put the right people around him to help him restrain himself or to personally just have self control and to stop posting everything like on on one hand, you got the media hey, frenzy hey, around hey. you, right? That's going to be there. But you can stop feeding them shit. You can definitely stop giving them more to go off of than what they're already going to print anyway. You yeah, can stop You can stop posting your text messages and shit and going on these long-ass rants and shit on social media. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, think, drug too. I, I think, like, at some point, like, the reason I the reason there's certain dramas that find him is because he puts certain things out there. So now it becomes fodder for social media, fodder for the media platforms, fodder for TMZ. Like if he just shut the fuck up on a lot of this shit, a lot of this shit we don't even either know about or it doesn't make him look crazy. It makes her look bad. Like if mm-hmm. there's if there's just the media saying Kim Kardashian has her child on social media too much, that frenzy hurts her worse than him saying it. Yeah. If, if 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 Pete Davidson makes it look bad because she's moving on so fast, then let that be the narrative. And you look like the quiet husband that's just quietly like all of a sudden TMZ finding paperwork in the courts where you're trying to get your kids. Like fight for it the right way is what I'm yeah. saying. Like all this public shit, like, you kind of on one hand, yes, they need to kind of back off you, but on the other hand, if they do back off you, but then every week you're giving them stuff. Mm -hmm. I agree. You're kind of feeding that beast. It's it's almost like if I'm a media person, I'm a journalist, I'm a hip-hop journalist, if it's a slow new week, what else am I going to write about? You just gave me my story. Yeah. I ain't even want it. I, I I had left you alone this week. I was looking, trying to find what the fuck is Q-Tip doing this year? <laughs> and then here you go again. Now you in the bushes. Now you ain't in the bushes. Do, now you're sitting there ja ta- trying to pull up on Pete Davidson. Now you're sitting there talking about TikTok. Now you're yelling again, hanging out with Antonio Brown. Like, you doing some weird shit every week. Just chill, like out. Just chill he out. Need handle, he need to handle it like Mr. Bean, man. He never heard shit about Mr. Bean getting into any damn thing. Cause he keep his business on the what? The low. Kanye Mr. handling Bean is business. A damn movie character, man. Nigga, that nigga real too. God damn it. I don't know his real name, but shit. Rowan Atkinson, man. That nigga talk for real. That, that nigga, you still don't know that nigga business. He ain't out in the fucking public guy. He ain't got none of his business out there. That nigga is low fucking key and rich as a fuck. That nigga low and key. And he in a Scooby Doo movie. But we don't live in Europe. Where he so where we would know boy. his business. They might be like, oh, that nigga be out here fighting. And he be he <laughs> was up in the pub on top of the but on top of the bar, losing it, drinking some Guinness. And Mr. He, Bean you know what be I mean? doing shit. Like, you know Mr. Mr. Bean, Bean don't be doing be, shit. Man, man. Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean might Bean be standing on be the bar doing. pissing on people on the pub, man. You don't Mr. know what they have, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean doing might be fucking up people fish and chips, man. You don't Mr. know what Mr. Bean be doing, man. Mr. Bean you know out here what? eating bangers and mash, man. <laughs> you say he out here eating bangers and ass? And mash, mash. come on. Mash. <laughs> Episode 69. Come on, man. Don't do, DJ, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm so sad oh, my boy shit. went down right now. I'm going right. to fix that. Oh, nigga, I'm going to... Oh, I'm gonna say my man, what the fuck did you just say? And why? I'm gonna say my piece about Kanye that I move on, but this is what gets on my nerve about Kanye. He's one of those people that I can't stand the most. He's one of those people that think he can get away with everything or whatever, and everybody should just be cool with it. No, nah, nigga, 
I'm not good with that shit. <laughs> just because it's him. And I don't know if you ever met somebody that's like that, but I have. And I've met a couple of people like that. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. It, that shit ain't cool, man. Like they, like they just seem like, like everything. Like they're in the Truman Show, and they Truman. Like they like they 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 are like I'm always the star of the show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I those type of people irk me. Whatever. Now I give Kanye a pass because he's Kanye West. I kind of understand. You know what I'm saying? He's famous or whatever. You have more of a reason. But the motherfuckers that like are not famous, they just regular motherfuckers that just be doing that. They are annoying as fuck. But but down the line, basically, basically it's just like you said. You like we were all against Pete Davidson until Kanye opened his big ass mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, just shut up. Just shut the fuck like, up. Like a lot of this take the bean road. With just like two to three weeks of just shutting the fuck up. Take don't, say nothing. Nothing. don't say nothing. Just have your listening parties. Play your music. Like I've I've heard cool things about the listening parties. So just go off of that. Like stick to the art and let that speak for itself because that's what people love you for. Don't let none of the rest of this shit like be the, the focus of things. Cause now we everything taken away from the art. Like that's what yeah. happened with Donda. Like the shit had to grow on people because he was surrounded by so much fuckery. At first, the shit niggas already was listening with a biased ear. At least I was. I ain't gonna need front. Mm-hmm. And like, then, yeah, and then as the he fuckers. shut the fuck up more and just let the music play. Oh man, this is a great album. This is good. <clears throat> but just shut up. Just shut up and let the yeah. art talk, man. A lot of the things, a lot of a lot of things to be solved in this world, a lot of problems won't even exist if people just shut the fuck up. Boy, come case, on now. Come on now. Case in point. My next topic. Jesse Smollett. Oh hell. If he would have just shut the fuck up three years ago when this all started, he wouldn't be at this point. He would Thanks. not be at this point. Um, so yeah, he just sent it to five months in jail and um community Jesse. service. Jesse. Or whatever. And man, talk about somebody who's died with the lie. He says, uh, he's he kept saying, I'm not suicidal, I'm not suicidal. Well, that's good. Or whatever. And I think he's playing like I think when he did that, he's trying to play on like man, if they off me in prison or whatever, like like he Epstein or some shit, like it's a big scandal or something. Man, like you don't get the hell out of here, man. Ain't nobody about to kill you, man. <laughs> oh, oh. Fuck about here, man. Ain't nobody about to kill you, Juicy. Juicy. Or he freaked out. He Juicy. Freaked out about, ain't nobody about to kill you, Juicy. Don't nobody give but, a fuck about you, Ju- Juicy. You don't get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. You ain't no damn black super, no gay Tupac, none of that shit, man. Ain't nobody about to do nothing to you, man. Think, think about this, man. He, Shut he, the fuck up is, with that bullshit. Is, his name is Juicy, and he's Juicy going to jail. He's going to jail for long, for like a long period for him, five months or whatever. Um, he he probably said that so he don't be in general pub. I don't think he's gonna be in general pub anyway because he's technically a, a celebrity still or whatever. But yeah, Juicy Smollett might not want to be around all those guys that haven't been outside. Ain't nobody trying to fight you, Juicy. Mm -mm. Mm Mm-mm. But yeah, yeah. Juicy Smollett is a a prime example of what's wrong with America right now. Dying with the lie. I mean, like, stop doubling down on the bullshit. Just say, man, my bad, y'all. I, I thought I thought I was gonna give some popularity off this shit. This shit went wrong. My fault for wasting y'all time and y'all taxpayer money. Hey, man, I I, I done served my time. I'm out. Let me, let me get my little let me get my little year or whatever. And, and all right, don't go down with it, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. You he was guilty. If he the, the case just, is over, sir. If he would have just shut up from the beginning, just. Got it on top of it, pause. Talk to some people to cover it up in the beginning. Just shut up. 
he wouldn't even be able to. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Listen to Juicy J, not Juicy Smoulet. Whatever his name is. Shut the fuck up. Juicy J. <laughs> but, um, somebody that stopped shutting the fuck up and came right out. Uh, it looks like um, Mace has j- dropped a diss track called Oracle 2, The Liberation of Mason Betha. And he's dissing Diddy. And when I first saw the news, I was like, okay, Mace, why? Why? So I was like, all right, I'm going to put it up here. Let me go ahead and listen to it or whatever so I can talk about it. And I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised at the diss. It's actually pretty catchy. What? And, and it, it doesn't sound like a, a dated flow. It's like- Hold on, say that the, one more time. I'm sorry. Mace, the uh, his diss on Diddy. Oh, that diss on- Man, let me get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, like, have you heard it? I heard a snippet. Yeah. Like, you like it? I'm not, I ain't going to say I, I like it. I'm just surprised how much I Oh, nigga, you like that shit. like it. I, did, I mean, it's, I'm Mace not going to put better. that in the car. We're going to put that in the car. Well, but it was a little too. I would say it, it sounds a lot better than I was expecting. I was, I was expecting trash, like total, utter complete trash and I was like that's oh, funny because well, that's exactly what I thought of it it was straight trash basura garbage mm. the trash that garbage. you're thinking I'm thinking worse I'm thinking worse I was like mm, well, you know for Mace in 2022 this is high you know I try to give people you know the benefit of the doubt this is high I don't think it's going anywhere I hope he got out of he missed the boat. He, he, he switched back and forth too many times. <laughs> yeah. If he had just went to uh to the religion one time, then came back and just stayed back, cool. But to go back, then go and come back. Like at this point, man, stop. It's just looking like you're doing a bunch of money grabs that's not working, and then you switch it. Stop. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a slaughterhouse. Man, it sounds like a rising rise and call a slaughterhouse. That's what it sounds like, <clears throat> but yeah, but I mean, it's not. I'm not. No, Slaughterhouse can fix that shit. They can put out an album still, and niggas will go get that shit. Especially yeah. now, that nigga yeah. Mace could come out with an album tomorrow, and that shit is gonna go double wood. That's true. That's true. But yes, I am be eating peanut butter pie squad. Yes, that's a thing. Better man than me. I'm allergic to that shit. <laughs> yeah, my Pretty son is true. He be having my word. bullshit almond butter. Almond butter. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we're going to end the fuckery on the number one fuckery of this week or whatever. And the funny thing about it is it happened like the night of like the day after like we recorded last week but yeah um ryan coogler was mistaken as a bank robber and yeah, that was some bullshit damn man that was and, and I, I know i said some profiling is cool but not in this case like come on man the man <laughs> asking for a withdrawal he ain't got no guns he ain't, like there was nothing about he ain't even him. you. Yeah, there was nothing about that that looked that, that warranted the response that followed. Straight he didn't get violent. Like, I'm sorry. First of all, you're robbing a bank. First of all, people people robbing a bank don't got time to be cordial. Whatever. He's being cordial. He's waiting. <laughs> she went to go get the manager. He he waited on the manager. They talked to him. He's sitting there waiting for the police to come at the place or whatever. By then, if he really wanted to do something, he would have been gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, who the hell gonna sit around and wait for their captor? And did you not have you not been on Earth for the past two thousand 
like two years since 2019? Like, have you not been on Earth? For the past? Oh, but you probably you went to go see. Years. <laughs> you probably went to go see Black Panther, and there was a black person doing that. You went to go see Black Panther and, and everything, and then the guy that. But he won't end the movie, so you know the director ain't as famous. But my thing is this: Come on, if if somebody come to your bank and they have all the correct information to make the withdrawal, why would they be robbing the bank? You can run their information and see if they got the money, and if they got the money in the account, you can see, oh, this ain't no crazy nigga. This a nigga that's. Like at the most, the manager should have came down and been like, "All right, well, let me just run your information real quick, sir." I'm it's it's, it's got to be some public security public. checks to that. Like, you can't just like, so that man can't access his money, and y'all gonna try to send him to jail because he won't hit shit. I think we need to check the the mental health of the teller because, like, did, she read the note and thought she was in a movie. That's that's what she she thought. And the note he was basically simply trying to explain, hey, I'm in Atlanta. I'm a black dude. I'm not trying to run off with a whole ball of money. And everybody see that. So I don't get run up for him. But on on, on the devil's advocate side, black people, don't write no damn note for your money. Just whisper that shit to the teller. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me write no notes and shit, man. No, I got no true. paper trail. And you no, like don't do no extra shit. Just go up there and be like, and you out of there. Mm-hmm. Handle that shit like a player, black people. Learn from this. Cause otherwise they can call the police on your ass. I mean, they go to call the police on you. You're a black man in America. You do anything that look out of the ordinary, they gonna call the police on your ass. Every time, all the time. Get used to it. It gonna happen. That's Ted's take of the day. Wow. I'm the nicest, nicest black person you ever see in your life. Not really. But yeah, I'm like one of the nicest black people you ever see in your life. If you, man, if I can count how many times I actually go out and the funny thing is, it's like it's just people and it and it's guys. The guys be bigger than me, and they just be looking at me like they I don't know what this this crazy motherfucker is gonna do. I'm like, nigga, you you bigger than me. Like, why the fuck you acting like that? Why are you clutching your purse, sir? Why? That was a subliminal yeah, to the motherfucker. They scared you're gonna take that man bad. <laughs> Fuck you, Tiz. And that's a oh, I'm a single lady. Oh, I'm a single lady. <laughs> you remember that shit? <laughs> Fuck you, Tiz. And, uh, uh, and that, uh, what I just said uh, was subliminal to that guy. Sorry, oh, little hater. Oh, oh, my looking God. at me weird. Oh my God. Man, even so more than that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I will not continue to be disrespected like this. I don't even know how that's done. <laughs> <laughs> It's like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it, it's a long story y'all mm. um for more on Jeez. that go back to, man you got to be a real part if, if you know about that you know because you got to be a real pod squad member to even have an idea what the fuck we talking about right there but uh, <laughs> yeah sorry about that we digress you know we rant sometimes we ramble <laughs> And that's how we end in the fuckery, man. Joking my black ass. So let's, hey, all right. Fuck a segue. We're going to the next topic. It gets the grain, everybody. Fuck you, too. <laughs>
Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz.